My name is Minji Kim and I'm a second year undergraduate student at UCLA. This is Dr. Chen's lab and our lab specifically specializes in prostate and bladder cancer because our PI uh, Dr. Chin is a urologic surgeon. Right now we're actually doing some like molecular cloning and with that we want to uh, make new strains of like cell lines. I'm learning techniques like PCR, um, cloning, uh, genotyping and a lot of other um, new techniques and just trying to master those before I get my own project. I'm originally from South Korea and I immigrated here in 2001. Coming from like a low income background, I kind of had trouble finding like things to do hands on that was free <laughs> and I feel like getting into research here was an opportunity for me to become hands-on and actually do science I first got interested in science at a young age I actually want to be a doctor, that's my ultimate career goal and I've been wanting to become a doctor since I was very little my parents are actually not very sciencey. <laughs> my dad was an ethics major in Korea my mom was actually a music major, she played the clarinet um, and currently my mom's a banker and my dad works at the uh, um, makeup, like cosmetic industry. So yeah, they do nothing related to science. I was never artsy, so science was like kind of like the natural course for me. So just like, you know, playing with like chem tubes and like doing labs, that was just really fascinating to me. And actually like um, working with the human body because that's, I think, what's really beautiful. Basic math is pretty useful in the lab. I have never used calculus in the lab. Uh, I think that's more for maybe like physics labs, but for our biology lab, it's mainly just like knowing biological like mechanisms, like basic chemistry, um, not really a lot of math. I'm a scientist because science is what amazes me the most. Uh, the intricacies of the human body, uh, molecular biology, the cells, uh, they just like amaze me and like the potential that we have in um, finding like cures for cancer and stuff is just um, very exciting to me so I'm very enthusiastic about it. My grandmother from my mom's side actually passed away from ovarian cancer when I wasn't even born so the fact that I never got to know her and the fact that she didn't really have a chance really bothered me and I think that was kind of like a fuel for um, why I want to pursue the sciences. My mission right now, so short term wise, is um, just to like master the techniques that the grad student is teaching me so that ultimately I can, um, you know, ho have my own project and my, I guess my long term goal is to um, finish that project, get published and maybe have my own poster for undergraduate poster day. I think that's really cool. In our lab, the lab life is very social. I get to know the grad student pretty well. We get to like, you know, talk about our daily lives, what's going on. And I also interact with my PI during like our lab meetings on Mondays. My hopes and dreams for this project is ultimately, I guess, ultimately find a cure um, or like some ways to help those struggling with um, prostate and bladder cancer because that's what our um, lab is about. Science is very unpredictable and I feel like that's an appeal of it. Um, it's always like a new adventure, a new journey because you don't know what you're going to find. And I think for people who don't want to be in like a monotonous setting, it's like a perfect opportunity to, you know, venture into something new or like find something new. Ultimately, science does benefit humanity greatly, um, pro like progress in medicine, progress in like different sorts of research. So if you want to be part of that great movement, I think it's a great opportunity for you to join um, science.